Let's do me. Hello everyone, my name is Hector Dillmammer and welcome to the end of the year vlog for 2018. It's currently December 30th and well the past three months have not been the best for me and my family. So pretty much after the last vlog in August, just after I had my surgery, the health of my grandfather started to deteriorate rapidly to a point where on September 1st he passed away. He was actually in a coma for a few days and uh, they didn't apply any uh, nutrition or, or fluids to him so that they he would just die of natural causes. And um, ever since that moment uh, the entire family has been focusing all of their attention to my grandparents, both my grandfather and my grandmother. because. Only two weeks after he passed away, my grandfather had a uh, epileptic seizure so severe that it lasted for eight hours. And I mean eight hours of constant... That. With her left leg and her left arm constantly shaking to a point where they were eventually uh, paralyzed as soon as they administered the proper medication. But ever since, she wasn't able to recover. And this has put the family into uh, a state of we're no longer able to plan anything ahead because we don't know how long grandmother still has to live. And finally, on December 6th, she passed away too. And it's been a horrible, a very hard time for the family, for myself, because I haven't been, well, not just me, but the entire family hasn't been able to dedicate any time to anything else other than my grandparents. So family trips, vacations, uh, days off, nope. I was pretty much the only one who said like, well, there's nothing I can do, so I'm gonna do my roadie trips anyway. But I, I did them with pain in my heart, knowing that at any given time it could be over. And knowing myself, I would just say to the band, like, guys, either we leave now, or I leave now, and you're stuck here. And that's something that just doesn't feel right for me. So, in, in that regard, it pains me to say this, but I'm, I'm glad it's over. And I'm glad that now the family can settle down and start planning ahead again. As my uncle and aunt, they actually came back from a trip to Sweden uh, when my grandfather was in coma and they actually managed to still catch him alive, <laughs> so to say. So they had to sacrifice their vacation and only now they are going back to Sweden to celebrate the end of the year there. And in terms of Christmas for my other family and, and other trips and other things, there was just nothing, you know. We need to focus our attention to grandmother and that sucked. And I felt horrible because there was nothing I could do. But that's in the past. Of course I know that my grandparents want us to continue with our lives. Not just dwell on the past, not just dwell onto the death and such. So on the day of the cremation of my grandmother, uh, we had a family dinner, all of us. And I was talking to my uncle and aunt who had to sacrifice their vacation to Sweden about me wanting to take a course Swedish because uh, Sweden has been my country of vacation for a couple years and I really want to go back. I haven't been there since 2013. So actually before I started streaming, uh, that was pretty much where all my energy and time would go to, into searching up stuff first, uh, in Sweden and trying to go to Sweden and trying to uh, keep my contacts up and running in Sweden. But ever since that kind of fell off the radar, I went to streaming and YouTube, but now, that I've got my life pretty much under control again. Um, during the dinner, I actually went on my phone and I requested a course Swedish. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, okay, uh, NTI, which is a, uh, a, a Dutch uh, education institute, which also does homeschooling. So they'll send the papers to you and you just have to do your homework and send them in. I ordered the course Swedish. <laughs> And luckily I've got my uncle and aunt to help me out because they do speak Swedish and uh, they helped me out in my previous sessions. Uh, I, I had done some private lessons with them uh, to basically get my Swedish up and running a little bit because when I went to Sweden I did want to at least try and talk Swedish. Not that it happened, not that it worked, but at least I tried. But this time, since my plan is to go to Sweden in June, I do want to like catch up on my Swedish, hopefully expand it and actually make myself understandable there. Because that's also a thing that's gonna happen. On June 10th, I'm taking a three week vacation and I'm heading to Sweden and nothing and no one is gonna stop me. There's this one place in Sweden that has always grabbed my attention. It's this place. I don't know why, but I just need to go there. And that's why this particular vacation is dedicated to going to that place. Also, uh, I am gonna pass Gothenburg 
and I am gonna see if I can hook up with her. Maybe do a video or stream together. Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Or I might do that on the way back, I don't know. Uh, because midsummer, June 21st, I wanna spend in that particular place or even further up north. Maybe uh, Karuna or maybe even head to the North Cape, I don't know. But I wanna go as north as possible with the minimum requirement of being that one place. Hellefteo, uh, as they say it in Sweden. So, yeah, that's something that I've got to look forward to. But, that's not all. Since just before my surgery, uh, on, mostly on Facebook and mostly to the bands, I've been hinting towards a secret little project that I'm working on. And as time passed, just before my surgery, I found a place to host this special project. And throughout time, until September 15th, I've asked the three bands that I really wanted to have if they were willing to perform at that place. And so I am happy to announce Roadie Fest. The three bands that I roadie, Hallowed Fire, Thoughtless and Morphigore, uh, will be performing in a cafe in Alkmaar, my hometown, only 20 minutes walking away from where I live. So you know who's not gonna be driving and you know who's gonna get wasted. And um, yeah, this is gonna be my birthday celebration. Uh, the past few years I've done pretty much nothing because uh, up till last year uh, we always went with my family to like center parks, London Green Parks because my mother's birthday is two days earlier than mine and we always celebrated together. Last year I actually had, uh, last year I say last year, but of course me, this time, this year, I had Millstrom over uh, because we were going to Disneyland, not to uh, London Green Parks. Uh, so I could invite people over and we had a bit of a party and I just figured I can do better than this. You know, for the first time in years I felt it was my birthday. I felt that people were there for me and I thought I can do better than this. And that's kind of how this Roadie Fest idea started to, uh, to begin. And I'm still amazed at the fact that it's gonna happen because this is one of those plans of mine that was supposed to fail. Just like everything else that I tried in the past few years that failed. But I guess that this, the fact that this is going to succeed, I've, I've made it such a way that uh, I don't even need to be alive. As, as morbid as it sounds. I don't need to be alive anymore, and this is still gonna happen. At least in terms of finances, I've, I've, I've set aside money and I gave that to someone who uh, I trust to handle all the finances if, if stuff goes wrong. So, yeah, Roadie Fest is something I've got to look forward to. Uh, one of my viewers, Paki, is gonna show up as well. And if you are in the neighborhood of Alkmaar, you're more than welcome to go. The address is at the bottom of the flyer, I'll show it again. And it's very close to the station, so you can come by train. Just note that uh, Morvigor will be playing until 1 a.m. So you're probably gonna have to either get a hotel, or come by car and not drink a lot, or you're gonna have to leave early. But you're more than welcome if you want to show up to have a beer with me. Because that's pretty much the only chance you'll ever have to have a beer with me. So yeah, I've got this to look forward to as well. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to say about Roadie Fest. If you can't make it, I'm gonna try and stream it on my uh, Twitch channel. So keep your eyes on me. The reason I haven't been active on YouTube and Twitch lately is mostly because of my family issue. Like I said, I needed to focus most, and if not all, of my available time and energy to my grandparents and to my family supporting them. And that unfortunately meant no streams. Also, in the times that I had available, I was just too exhausted. Mostly due to my family issues. In terms of for streams and YouTube, other than Roadie Fest, if I can, is that I'm done promising things. I've promised in the past that I would return to the uh, mod spotlights. I promised that I would return to a proper schedule of four days a week and I haven't been delivering. And quite honestly, uh, the numbers don't lie. Lack of viewership here on YouTube and Twitch are appalling and thus I'm only going to stream whenever I feel like it. And also whatever I feel. So until I'm done with Lego City Undercover, that is pretty much all you can expect on Twitch and YouTube. Maybe occasionally some Mental Omega shenanigans Maybe something else. But after I am 100% uh, done with LEGO City Undercover, I don't know what I'm gonna do. As I've said, I'm done promising things. Because all my promises end up being empty and not delivered. So, if that means that you're going to unsubscribe, be my guest. Doesn't matter to me. There was a time, uh, because I also had to say farewell to my grandparents, both of them, that I was about to say farewell to you guys as well. I was this close to saying like, you know what, YouTube, streaming, 
it's just not worth it anymore for me. There's too much competition in terms of what I stream. Like there's so many more uh, Mental Omega streamers. There's a couple of Contra streamers. And Rise of the Reds currently is uh, experiencing some SWR net uh, issues. But Bruce has been streaming. Meltzer has been streaming. Uh, some Russian guys have been streaming. So just look it up and you'll find some streams here and there. But me, I'm just I'm just not gonna promise anything. I'll try and get back into Rise of the Reds when the new version comes out. I'll try to get into Contra once the new version comes out and I'll keep on occasionally streaming Mental Omega but just when, how and I'm not gonna promise anything anymore. I'm just like I want to sp spend more time and energy focusing on myself rather than other people. I've been this this 2018 has been a year where I focused far too much energy and far too much time into other people where eventually I ran into myself and it actually hit me in my health both physically and mentally. So once I'm satisfied with the way that my life is going and once I have everything under control here, only then will I dedicate some of the available time to other people. Starting with the bands and you guys on Twitch and YouTube will have to come last. Sorry, but that's just the way life is. Anyway, uh, I hope that you all have a safe transition into 2019. I most certainly will. I'm going to be attending a party at a friend of mine uh, who invited me last year, but I didn't go because my best friend invited me as well and so I went to him. This time around it's the same issue but now I've said like best friend I've had to say no to the other guy last year so now I'm gonna say no to you but yes to him so sorry about that and he understands. So anyway uh hope you've uh well I'm not gonna ask you if you've enjoyed this because it's been quite a depressing one but I uh, hope you all have a safe journey into th 2019 and maybe we'll see each other sometime again maybe even on Roadie Fest. Remember February 9th. See you then.